Well, good morning. Hope y'all slept better than I did. This is my last morning in South Florida, so hopefully it's gonna be a good one. I slept in the back of my truck last night, and it rained all night. It not, sounded nice, but got a lot of water got in the truck, so. My, my sleeping bag is pretty wet. Um, got a few things playing and hopefully it goes well. So these canal systems just go on forever and there can be fish in the whole thing, just all over the place. Also, there can be other cre creatures. Oh, there he went. I scared him off. There he is, big old alligator. I'm just gonna try fishing right here on the side of this road. Um, right in front of the gaming resort place here. I just saw a big alligator right down there. Uh, I just want to fish around here. Oh, there he is. There's that gator. I saw him earlier. And that's where I pulled over here on the side of the road. He went underneath earlier when I walked over here. He popped back up. It's pretty cool. It's so cool to see one going down the uh, water. I can't imagine being like in a kayak and have one coming up right beside you. They just sink down in. All right, there's nobody in the spot I wanted to fish. But man, that rain is not letting up. It's just really coming down steady. Bunch of little weird looking birds. Here's a fish. Little peacock bass. I was uh, working as a jerk bait and then I just started reeling it in steady and was able to hook this one. All right, a little peacock bass on the little jerk bait. This rain's really setting in. I think it's supposed to clear out, but I don't know if it'll clear up by the time I leave today, but there, there you go, little guy. Get up here. There's a little peacock there. Barely got him. That time I was jerking it and pausing it. Got him to hit. Man, these fish are just so cool. Oh, it's gonna be a long time before I get to come back and catch some of these again, I bet. But I'm gonna make it happen. Man, even these little guys feel so big in there. I may have got some grass with that one. Maybe why it felt bigger, but that was a good hit. All right, finally got him out, untangled all the treble hook. There's it. Large mouth. These fish, there's, there's so many, like I'm casting and casting the same spot, getting different fish. Like they're just moving around out there and there's so much water, you'd think they'd be hiding, but there's just must be loads and loads of fish. It's awesome to think what could be out there in the, around those tree trunks out there in the water. It's a pretty little largemouth.
Oh, it's a good one. That's a good fish. Nice peacock. There, yeah, it is. Oh, he's barely hooked on there. All right, come on. Nice fish. The rain's letting up. Check out that peacock bass. I've been wanting to get a couple other angles and uh, the rain finally is letting up. Pretty fish right there. Just a, and he's probably, probably pound and a half. Such a strong fish. All right, I'm about to drop him back in there. Take it in one last time. Look at that tail. Well, I haven't got a hit on the popper. Thought for sure they'd be hitting that. I'm gonna use the uh, brown uh, Helgramite, the Nico brand. Haven't used it yet. And we should know pretty quick if it's gonna work or not. They really just a uh, boom, ambush, attack, and they're off. There's one. You definitely gotta be ready to set the hook. Oh, it came off. You gotta be ready to set the hook, that's for sure. These aren't, they aren't like taking it like a uh, large mouth or small mouth usually where they just kinda, just like, well that one did. Just take it and hold on to it. This one did that time. Most of them been hitting and coming off. Man, I could catch these fish all day. This place is ruining me. I definitely recommend coming here to catch some peacock bass and just, it's just an awesome area. Ow, man, the teeth. Look at my thumb, it's all wore down. They got a lot of edges there and I've caught a lot of fish, so really wore my thumb out of that. These are just, these are just awesome. Just this awesome, fun bass. Aggressive catching fish. There he is. Oh, what we got? Oh, I think that's something different. I think that's a, a new species for me. Let's see, I don't remember catching that fish. Maybe I did. All right, this guy's got a some couple, ooh, those are look, jagged looking little teeth right there. Got two on the bottom, one on top, and then a row of little ones on the side right there. Gotta be careful, every fish I'm catching, I'm worried about how to hold it, if it's gonna hurt me or something. Oh, good. That's a large mouth. They're all just all mixed in there. The largemouth, everyone I've almost, I think everyone I've caught has been, uh, they've really taken it. Now, you probably already know this, but I didn't know to, to use such heavier line. Oh, well, there he goes. I'm using 15 pound braid and uh, this one's just a 10 pound uh, leader, like an extra tough line. But um, that's nice, nice large, one pound largemouth. Something heavy. I was gonna use like my eight pound mono and I didn't realize how much brush and stuff there is in here you could probably even use a heavier than this but you if you hook into something good it can get you tangled up quick there he is well that one came out pretty easy well this spot i've caught four different species of fish this is what i dreamed about when i came when i was thinking of fishing in florida a place where i could come like this on the side of the road, little nothing, probably five foot of water, but just goes on forever. And uh, just catching several different fish. Uh, oh, well, let me let him go. I don't know what that one was either. A large mouth. All right, let's gonna wrap this video up. This video here, I just want to show you, 
Uh, you probably have seen it by now, but how you can just catch fish and peacock bass. Actually, I need to get a peacock bass in this video out. This, vi this video is about peacock bass. Let me get one. There's one. Oh, somehow I hooked him in the side. Well, we're gonna count that one because he swiped at my lure and I hooked him in the side. So there it is, peacock bass. I know you're probably saying, I wanna go catch one of those. I've never caught one, like me. I'm from Tennessee, never caught a peacock bass. Didn't really know where to go, but if you go to the Everglades and just find a place to fish, not only is this is just an awesome area, but th there's a lot of peacock bass and they like hitting lures. They're aggressive little fish. Jerk baits um, is what my friend Miguel uses and they work a lot as you saw. Also um, Helgramite, I've started using that and it's working great, just dropping it in and twitching it. Um, had a great time down here fishing Everglades. I love catching these little bass. They're just, they're so cool. They're like a smallmouth bass. They're just so ferocious and they hit, but they hit really quick. They hit really quick and uh, they, they're either off or you got a good fight. Being down here in the Everglades is crazy. It's, it's certain places you can uh, look 360 degrees around. All you see is just grass and like a uh, swamp area. It's awesome, awesome place. I definitely suggest coming here um, if you want to, if you definitely want to try to catch peacock bass, we also just want to explore. Um, there's airboat rides, which I may try to do that here in a little bit. There's alligators I saw. There's all these different species of fish that you can catch. And there's just tons and tons of water to fish and it's mostly all right on the side of the road. There's all kinds of water, but you don't have to go very far to find all kinds of fish. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, maybe if this uh, give you a little encouragement and uh, help you maybe get a little guidance on uh, what to do for your next uh, summer vacation.